Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Tarki Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which are appearing in SUPG entrance examination in chemistry from the lesson of solutions from the year 2014 to 2015. These are year wise questions from the lesson solution. The osmotic pressure at 25 degrees centigrade of an aqueous solution of sucrose with molar concentration of 0.2 mole per liter is So we know the relation between the osmotic pressure and concentration by is equal to MRT. Here M is given. M is 0.2 into, okay, it should be in a later atmosphere. So R is in later atmosphere, 0.0821 later atmosphere. And the T, the T is given 25 degrees centigrade. When you convert it to Kelvin, you have to add 273. So it will be 298 Kelvin. So 298 Kelvin. Okay. When you simplify, you will get around 4.89 atmosphere. So the correct option is here. Concentrated hydrochloric acid. Molecular weight is given, has density of 1.19 gram per ml and contains 37% of SA by weight. How many milliliters of the concentrated acid should be diluted to 1 liter with water to prepare 0.100 m solution? Here, before, before dilution, what is the concentration of SCL? We have to calculate. Here, density is given, density of SCL solution is. 1.19 gram per ml. This is the density. What is this mean? Here, uh, density is m by v. m by v is equal to 1.19 gram per ml. Let's take uh, volume as 1 ml. Then uh, mass will be 1.19. Here, the concentration, here, the percentage of HCl is 37 percentage by weight. So the actual weight of um, SCL and SCL will be 37 percent is of this weight. So 1.19 into 37 by 100. 37 by 100. So we have the weight of SCL. We know the molecular weight of SCL. And you can calculate the molarity of SCL before digestion. And SCL is equal to Okay, weight by molecular weight. Weight is 1.19 into 37 by 100. By 100. And the molecular weight is 36.5. 36.5 into 1000 by V. 1000. The V is 1 ml. 1 ml. When you simplify, you will get around 12. So the molarity of one SCL is equal to 12. Before dilution. After dilution, this is the relation M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2. Okay, after dilution, M2 is given. M2 is this one 0 0.1 and V2 is given. We have to calculate V1. Already we know M1 value. V1 is equal to M2 V2 by M1. M2 is given 0 0.1 into V2. 1 liter when you convert it into ml so it will be 1000 ml since uh, the answer should be in milliliters you have to convert it into milliliters 1000 ml divided by m1 m1 is 12 so you will get uh, 100 by 12 this one is equal to 8.333 like that so the correct answer is 8.3 ml the molar enthalpy change of Freezing of water is 6.01 kilojoule per mole. Value of the cryoscopic constant for water is what is the value of cryoscopic constant? Okay, we have to calculate Kf. Kf is equal to R T F square m by 1000 delta H fusion. Delta H fusion. Here. Uh, R should be uh, in uh, joules, so 8.314 and 
and the GF square. The GF square, we know the uh, freezing point of water in Kelvin, it's a 273 Kelvin, 0 degrees centigrade or 273. So 273 square into 273 into molecular weight of water, 18 divided by 1000 okay, into this one, 6.01. When uh, delta H of fusion is in kilojoules, we have to multiply with 1000, 6.01. So when you simplify this equation, you will get around 1.86 Kelvin crazy per moment. So this is the correct option. State which of the following statement is true for an ideal solution. We have ideal solution, ideal solution and ideally dilute solution. Ideally, dilute solution. For ideal solution, both uh, solute, both solute uh, and solvent, uh, both obey, both obey, 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 routes. In ideally dilute solution case, solute, uh, this one obeys, Henry's law, and the solvent obeys, this one obeys. So, this one is uh, when solution and solvent both obey Raoult's law, this one is called as ideal solution. When the solute obeys Henry's law and the solvent obeys Raoult's law, then it is called as ideally dilute solution. So, the correct option is A. The vapor pressure of water at 20 degrees centigrade is 17.5 tau. The vapor pressure of an aqueous solution prepared by dissolving 36 gram of glucose in 14.4 gram of water would be closed. Okay. According to Raoult's law, P0 minus P by P0, that is relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to mole fraction of solute Xp. That one is equal to Nb by Na plus Nb. Here uh, this one is a uh, this one is solute, this one is B, and water is A. Water is A. This one is A. You have to calculate number of moles of water. And A is equal to weight by 14.4 by molecular weight. So it will be equal to 4 by 5. And the NB, the number of moles of uh, solute, that is glucose, is equal to uh, 36 by 180 gram by molecular weight, you will get uh, 1 by 5. Then if you take a mole fraction, Xb will be equal to Nb. Nb is a 1 by 5 divided by 1 by 5 plus 4 by 5. It will be equal to 1. So P0 minus P by P0 is equal to 1 by 5. Is equal to 1 by 5. So when you do cross multiplication, you will get uh, 5 P0 minus uh, 5 P is equal to P0. So when you take this term side, you will get 4P0 is equal to 5P. So P is equal to 4 by 5P0. So when you substitute, P is equal to 4 by 5P0. P0 value is given 17.5 tau. So when you simplify, you will get around 14 tau. This is a correct option. Estric acid associates in benzene to form dimers. 1.65 gram estric acid when dissolved in 100 gram benzene raises the boiling point of the solvent by 0.36 degree centigrade. Calculate the degree of association of estric acid in benzene. Here we have to calculate the alpha value. First we have to determine I value. From this equation you can calculate I value delta Tb is equal to I want a factor into KB into M. So I is equal to delta TB divided by KB into M. First we have to calculate the molality, molality of this solution. Molality M is equal to weight 1.65 divided by molecular weight that is 60 into 1000 by weight of uh, solvent in cases it will be 100. So it will be equal to 16.5 by 60. So delta Tb is given. It's a 0.36 into 
KB is given. KB is 2.6 into molality 16.5 divided by 60 means into 60. So you will get the 0.5. It will be equal to 1 by 2. When acetic acid, two acetic acid are associates into A2. Let's take initially we have uh, let's take one molecule of acetic acid and the zero before association. Then let's take degree of uh, degree of association as alpha. It will be one minus alpha. Then there is the association of two molecules. We are getting only one A2. So the number of uh, A2 will be alpha by two. So here I is equal to after association one minus alpha plus alpha by two divided by before association. 1 plus 0, 1 we have. So it will be equal to 1 minus alpha by 2. So here i is equal to 1 minus alpha by 2. So alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus i is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2. So it is equal to 1 by 2. So alpha is equal to 2 by 2, it will be equal to 1. So what is the percentage? The percentage is, is the fraction. Degree of association is 1, so the percentage will be into 100, 100 percentage. The general reason for the elevation of the boiling point of a solvent when non-volatile solute is dissolved in it. Actually, when you dissolve non-volatile solute in a solvent, there is an increase in entropy. Due to increase in entropy, there is an elevation of boiling point. Okay, this one A. Yeah, Attractive interaction between the solvent and solute molecules. No, it's not correct. The repulsive interaction between the solvent and solute molecules which is also not correct. There is an increase in entropy due to increase in entropy. There is an increase in boiling point of the resulting solution. Thank you. In coming video, I will explain the part three of solutions. Thank you.